Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Transformers Friday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I am presenting you with Deluxe Class Autobot Pipes. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them, all available for free to watch on my YouTube channel. Wink, wink. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just to help channel out further or both. That's all cool. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. And first up, as we always do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. And on the top, you know, the cave art. Autobot symbol, Transformers for Cybertron Trilogy, recycled. He's WFC K32. And on the front, Autobot pipes, and then there it is in Cybertronian, Takarotomi Generations, Transformers. Hasbro print, 8 and up. Transformers, Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. The nice, did I say the window? There's a window showing off pipes. And then there's the artwork showing him in his alt mode, which goes across to this side, showing him in robot mode and of course he is deluxe class and then there's some more Cybertronian on this side that lovely kingdom artwork that we've come to know and love and which is on its way out the door authentic Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy on the bottom small print fine print legalese print made in Vietnam print symbols I'm not gonna learn a barcode and some other stuff that's small on the back, nice product shots of pipes in his alt mode and robot mode and 17 steps to transform. And there's a symbol. I don't know what it means. Autobot symbol transforms more than meets the eye. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that don't belong there in any language that has ever been heard of. I think there's some Greek in there too. Or not Greek, but uh, like, uh, you know, hieroglyphics or some crap. Oh wait, that's hieroglyphics on the bottom. Uh, here's some more small print, fine print legalese, made in Vietnam, and that S. That, my friends, covers a look at the packaging. And now let's take a look at the figure and get that out of here. His accessories. And first of all, he comes with a card. Another stupid Dinobot card. And underneath is Dynamus. Yay. And here we have the fabulous instructions in these, in my opinion, awesome kingdom colors. And I hope they keep that. I know they're not, but here's to hoping. Got my fingers crossed. Nicely illustrated, nicely colored, easy to follow. And now let's take a look at the vehicle mode. And he is a jet powered tractor trailer. On the small side. Uh, nice silver paint apps there on the front. And the top and nicely painted silver engines, guns, whatever you want to call them. He does have tail lights, so Hasbro does actually paint tail lights sometimes. Under the bottom, you know, it's pretty much like Huffer, uh, quite robotic. I may have it mistransformed by not having his head spun around backwards, but you know, whatever, because it sits like this doesn't really matter uh you know he does have that same bow in the middle of him just like huffer because you know he's basically just a repaint of huffer 
just has these two things instead of the tray and the gun that splits in half and becomes the side of hover or the back sides the back the sides of the back of hover Ooh. I'll get it out eventually but you know overall just like hover is pretty nice looking reminiscent of the classic character although I'm only passingly familiar with uh, pipes So, oh, and uh, painted hubcaps. Forgot to mention that. Everything else is mostly just molded in color. That does it for a look at pipes in vehicle modes. Time to do some vehicle mode comparisons. And the most obvious one, of course, because this piece keeps falling off. I really don't like that piece. Those pieces, the way they hook on. On Huffer. One little touch and they fall off. So there is Pipes and Huffer side by side. And of course we've got the Titans Returns Legends class Bumblebee. I forgot to turn them this way. So there we go. Front on front. And here we go with the Amazon exclusive alternate universe or dead Optimus Prime. And... Here is Dead Optimus' trailer. And let's see if Pipes can carry it just as well as Huffer. And there we go, folks. Pipes can also haul Optimus' trailer. Pretty cool. That does it for vehicle mode comparison. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the comedy portion of our program where I attempt to transform this transformer. And first you want to remove these turbo jet blaster doodads, which just peg in. Oh, peg. You guys know how that works, right? Right. And the first thing I like to do is pop the legs out and you flip these pieces on back to become the bottom of his feet. Then you want to move the arms so that they're unlocked from the cab and the cab comes out and then you flip that piece forward and at this point you would flip his head around but since I already had it flipped properly you know the wheels They just flip in like that. Then these parts you just lift up and they will tab. You'll hear them click into position. And then something that differs from Huffer is the cab piece spins around. There's a swivel right here. And that spins around. And you flip the chest 
back up and the back locks into position. And you just kind of maneuver. Oh, that's too high. You just kind of maneuver the cab into position. And straighten out the arms. Flip the hands out. Turn. Lower his arms. Then. There is no swivel at the wrist, but it's right up here where you turn that to face the hands forward. Then these pieces, he can hold them in his, well, I say he can hold them in his hand. So yeah, he can hold them in his hand, but where they're supposed to go is in these holes on the side of his arms and it's just pegs in. I don't know, that still feels like it's not quite right. But that feels like it's too high, maybe. I don't know. We'll leave it like that. Let me check the instructions. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. So the cab sits up high, just like it does on Huffer, just spun around backwards. And there it is, folks. Pipes transformed into robot mode. And now let's take a look at Pipes in his robot mode. So it mainly looks like the majority of the figure is molded in the color he's supposed to be. Although there are some paint apps like we have here and the Autobot Tampo and the paint on Pipes's pipes and then it looks like other than you know the stuff we covered the silvers here and here and yeah, there's some black in there uh, most of this other stuff we covered in vehicle mode and he does you know some paint on the the wheels and then it looks like you the paint in here the eyes they stand out rather nicely I think it looks like maybe they painted them black and then painted this I guess, I'm guessing it's blue over the top of, of the eyes and then, you know, the face that's not covered by the faceplate also looks like it's probably a paint app. But other than that, pretty much molded in color. So it would appear. Let's talk about articulation. He can look up none. He can look down neglig negligibly. He can do the full exorcist at the shoulders. Comes out not quite 90 degrees. Does spin around 360 degrees. Does have a cut here at the upper, well, the mid lower bicep maybe. It's not supposed to do that, but that will give you a 360 degree rotation at the elbow. About 90 degrees ish. And then nothing really at the wrist. I guess you could say, you know, he's got some in and out. Well, some in, not out, but that's due to transformation. So, count it if you like. At the waist, a full 360 degrees of rotation. 
Uh, this does get in the way a little bit, so just be aware of that. Uh, for the legs, let's see. Get about that much of the splits. He kicks forward well, about 90 degrees. Backwards about 90 degrees. And no cuts in here, but he does have, well, I'll say that. There's a mushroom pig right here. And that will give you, if you work at it a little bit, it will give you 360 degrees of rotation. At the knee, it's just on a hinge. It'll come up that far. Well, that far, because the foot came unpegged a little bit. Uh, no forward and back at the ankle, but he does have tons of rocker there. At least going inside. Nothing on the outside. And that, my friends, is a look at pipes in his robot mode and now it's time for my favorite part of a transformers review the robot mode comparisons and first off here we have huffer and you can see you know there's some differences although a lot of pieces are the same there are some different pieces also and again, you can see where that's spun around and that's not. This doesn't even have the swivel on it to do that spin around thing. And of course, they both come with two accessories. A huffer, a shield, and that gun that splits into two. And then uh, Pipes has his two blaster pipes. And of course, here is the Titans Returns Legends class Bumblebee. And the leader class Walmart exclusive Netflix Earthrise Optimus Prime. And that, my friends, completes the comparison. For final thoughts on the Deluxe Class Kingdom Pipes, if you are a Season 3 G1 fan, hey, it's Pipes. Uh, if you're just in the comics, I don't ever remember Pipes appearing in the Marvel comics. I could be mistaken, but I don't ever, if it, if it was, it was just like in a panel somewhere very briefly uh, you know if you like tougher you'll probably like pipes too I like him okay again I'm just passingly familiar with the character he's a mini butt that's about all I can say I like the figure uh, you know again because I like the huffer the Kingdom Huffer figure. So, you know, uh, if you're just passingly familiar and you like Huffer, it might be worth a pickup for you. Well, that does it for the review. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further, or both. That's cool, too. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my future content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.